Hey everybody, welcome back to Digi Bros. What's up? It's the Digi Bros. It's uh, been a couple of weeks since our last recording session, but we didn't release any of these episodes until. Well, I mean, obviously you'll know when you've seen them, but uh, I decided. Oh fuck! To, I'm a bomber cop, cop, copter. I decided to build a, a cache of videos to um to release so that we wouldn't have the usual problem we have of. We record like five, release them all, and then there's just a huge fucking gap. You are right. Oh, man. So I'm switching up the scheduling and stuff so that it'll be like um, a Digi Bros one day, then a Digi and Davoo the next day. Digi and Davoo. And, uh, and back and forth like that. Um, Davoo wants me to call that one Digi Bro and Others. Because apparently that's what I had regretted not calling uh, uh-huh. the, the other one. You were right. It. Uh, so yeah, we're back to Bomberman. You're a fucking helicopter shooting bombs. I am bombs. a fucking helicopter fighting submarines. This Shit, game has everything. Shitting bombs on submarines. I'm shitting some bombs on some fucking submarines. The perspective is really like difficult with this, it seems. Like. I gotta say. Coca-Cola... Why don't they have the polar bears year-round? Every winter, they start putting polar bears on the cans and shit. That should just be the official Coke mascot. Why do they ever take the polar bear off the can? Like, I feel 100% more enticed to, to buy a Coke when it's got a polar bear on it, because they're cute, and they're cool, and I like the the bears. 100%, Why do they ever take huh? the fucking bears off, dude? Uh, That's what I had to say. That was my, my spiel. That's what's making me a rage this week. <laughs> that was awful quick. <laughs> for, for, for something that makes you, you even I sound thought angry of it about it. Literally two seconds ago. <laughs> and it was like, why do they ever take the polar bear off the can, man? For, it changes the game. For being a rage, you were you were pretty, <laughs> you were pretty nonchalant about it. Um What mm. what actually have you been up to this week, Victor? I haven't been doing shit. The work has run dry for now. I'm waiting for the the next things to come up and trying to think of you, things you I can do a, on my own. You had a pretty long period of being busy with shit. I had a good busy streak, and I was yeah. hoping it would continue forever, but it's now November it was, and December, and those are the hardest months for, for people in my... Yeah, I my, bet even weddings are type, less... Yeah, there's like no weddings in the wintertime, so right. th- there's just nothing... <laughs> Yeah, it's rough. It's a uh, fucking struggle. I was hoping I'd have more music videos, but I don't think I'm gonna get the new do another one of those till January. No one has money in these months because yeah. everyone's gotta buy shit for the holidays. Yeah, um, which I'm not gonna be able to do much of because I'm not gonna have any money. I'm right. I'm running on uh, last month's uh, income. I'm currently fucking. Waiting for Kickstarter to send me the money. Yeah, that's for... that's the other thing is that I'm waiting on all this fucking money <laughs> for yeah. for work I did a couple weeks ago, and it's just like, God, send me my fucking money, goddammit. Yeah, you work in a weird industry when it comes to payment. It's really like I know the guy who's fucking paying me. It's my friend Danny, and and he's been put in charge of of basically everything for these fucking commercials we do, and he is a, a dumbass, and I. It's, it's like, I feel like he is so financially secure that he doesn't realize that other people rely on the income that he has to disperse. Well, I was like, dude, should... give me my fucking money. Have you told him to do that? Have you, been, I'm, I'm have you contacted I'm, I'm him? Gonna you should. See him. I would have it, immediately. It lasts too long. Because there's I... also, he, he, like, there, there are certain circumstances where it's like he, he can't do it faster than what I, they allow him, I'm sure, but... Asking I know for last, a raise last month he up. had just kind of casually not sent out the checks and then handed it to me when we did another job. I'm like, dude, I rely on this income. This is like one of three things I do to make money. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, Kickstarter for Plebe and the Weeb. Highly successful. Mm. But the, they, I, I, the whole time I'm like, I don't know, you know, when are they going to, like, I don't know how soon they'll send the money or if it'll all come through correctly, you know, but I got to buy all these plane tickets for Look everybody. at that, dude. Fucking 4,050 out of 4,000 points. How? That's how? the best I've ever done. How is that possible? How did you get more than the number of points? I must have found a secret thing. I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, the Kickstarter, they finally, like, you know, the, the thing ends and they send the email and it's like, oh yeah, uh, it'll take at least two oh, weeks 
for the money to show up oh, God. for you. So, like, you know, would have been nice to know beforehand, but it's like, yeah, every, you know, because every day that goes by, the plane tickets get more expensive, yeah. you know? Now, I mean, I planned the Kickstarter around the plane tickets being expensive, like, um, and apparently flying is a little cheaper to the U.S. right now because of Trump uh, and, and the, whole, <laughs> the whole trump apocalypse that's going on. Stupid, but, um, man. It's so stupid. But, like, uh, yeah, as, as a result of all that, it might, it might equal out. But either way, it's like, you know, any of the money that was left from the Kickstarter, you know, we'd, we'd get to play around with and either fill in all the gaps in, like, uh, the A, taxes that I'm probably going to pay on the Kickstarter money, which might cripple me forever and actually literally kill me. Um, mm-hmm. if, you, if, if, I, if I'm suddenly dead at some point, it's because I, uh, I died of stress from taxes. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, not even from the taxes Fuck. themselves, just the stress of having to deal with them. Um, they're going to give you seven, seven taxes. There's going to be all the taxes. There's also a chance that making the Blu-rays and sending them all will cost a lot more than I anticipated. Uh, I I did figure that was probably going to be a big expense. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a funny thing because like I, I planned it around like a certain amount, but then like those, those tiers filled like so fast. Like there's 150 Blu-rays I'm gonna have to send. Oh fuck! You know that's a lot of so, Blu-rays. So yeah. Oh, shit. Um, that's it means you're not gonna be able to buy enough posters. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, all the extra was gonna just go to Jesse, you yeah. know, um, because he edits the thing and uh, it's it's meant to. Like, I want to be able to pay everybody for their time because yeah. the biggest thing about doing this is that. Everyone has to take that time to not work on their own videos, yeah. you know. Um, and with me and Jesse, that's our only source of income, you know. So I mean, I'm sure he's gonna patron all the videos, though. He he will sure, yeah. and uh, and that'll help him. But like, you know, until they're all done, then it's like, because Jesse works down to the wire, you yeah. know. Like he's very much he puts out a certain number of videos a month that he made that month. <laughs> and so if he has a week that he, uh, you know, is just doing Radcon videos and then it takes him more than uh, oh, the I'm end of the month could... to edit some of them, yeah. then, you know, um, he'll be fucked. Yeah. But, but I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. I, I have a lot of concerns about whether the money is actually going to be enough, but hopefully it will. I mean, I asked. Well, the end. I set the numbers fairly high and they were exceeded, so. Excellent. I just want the fucking money to show up so I can yeah. actually buy the plane tickets. Oh shit, this place is hard. Oh yeah, you know it. Yeah, I'm, How- I still haven't caught up to where I played uh, on Radcon. I got the like most of the way through Planet Three. I see. Um, yeah, man. Video games are cool. I I re- I I played first game I played in like a long while was Pokemon uh, Sun. Yeah. Which I just got done recording my, um... It was a whole lot of fun. My GRPJ for. Uh, mm. yeah. Great, great fucking, great fucking game. Um, I have problems with it. Yeah. Well, I was literally just now, a second ago, thinking, like, it's funny because I have my problems with the game, and, like, me and you have talked about the problems and stuff, but... I don't want that to distract from the fact that it was a fun fucking game and I yeah. had a blast and, like, it's one of my favorite games, you know? I feel the same way about uh, Y. I mean, when I when I played through Y, like, most of the analytical points I had to make about the game were negative, which is why I never did... Like, if you go back through my history and look at my videos about Pokemon Y, which are the first ones on my channel that since I, uh, you know, unlisted all the pony stuff, mm. um, the first one is, like, just about pokemon in general and yeah. like you know our generation like growing into adulthood and stuff then i did a analysis of the game by way by comparison to pokemon red which was kind of like not really this way or that but then i also had a written post i did about just the 10 things i want them to fix and i didn't make it a video just because i thought everyone's so excited about this game no one's gonna want to hear someone just being negative yeah. about it you know and, I mean, maybe they would have been, and if I did that now, it wouldn't be a problem. But at the time, I had an audience who was kind of, like, had a difficulty with negativity in general. Yeah. So, um... Ah! I just thought maybe it wasn't a great idea. 
Uh, but Probably. now I'm now I've got this sun and moon one. But like I mean, in spite of all that, I still was putting Pokemon Y on like my list of my top ten favorite games for a long time. Yeah. You know, in spite of all the issues. I definitely and, uh, I don't feel great about it now because I haven't been able to replay it to the points that I really enjoyed. Right. I'm I'm really the Sun I, and Moon definitely I, I can't wait to be on the second playthrough and like know about the things that disappointed me and yeah. not care and then really feel I, it for what it is. I would like you know, I don't think I could jump into this immediately, but it wouldn't even have to be too long. But, like, if I do play it again, I will try to catch all the Pokemon. I'll just go about it in a totally different way. Uh, because I spent the whole game thinking there was going to be somewhere I could grind. Fucking destroyed that level! Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. That took me forever the first time! Um, you know, I, I spent so much of my playthrough, uh, like, thinking a grinding area would come, and it never did. Yeah. Uh, and not realizing that there's so many... Did I tell you about the Pokemon that you can only get through um, through them being summoned by other Pokemon? Yeah, you did. Yeah, there's like a ton of that, and I had no idea for most of the game. So, like, if I were to do it again and try to catch all the Pokemon, I would be much more focused on that throughout the early part of the game. Um, and I wouldn't carry around guys who I can catch their evolutions later. Yeah. You know? um, so if I change those things, it might be fun to play again. It is interesting, because me and you play the game very differently, where you're about catching Pokemon and, and training them and stuff, and I'm just about, like, I want to have my guys, and they're the coolest team. So, like, the the not evolving to later levels didn't bother me, because, like, it's always bothered me in the games when I get guys and they evolve too early, and then I'm just playing the whole game with the same Pokemon. Right. Where it, it really felt like some of those evolutions were well, earned for, for because, you, it's, like, yeah. I, it's spent so long. Well, you, you kind of form this narrative of the evolutions that, like, you yeah. know, eventually it's like this big, awe inspiring moment that you got to evolve it. But for me, I'm just evolving Pokemon constantly because I'm yeah. grinding them in, like, the most efficient ways where it's about, like, you know, getting a Pokemon in that's, like, level 8, and then just having EXP share on and fighting a super strong trainer, and then they yeah. immediately level up 20 times <laughs> and uh, and evolve, you know? And that's more how, I, uh, how I'm handling that kind of thing. I've always played with the narrative of, of building my awesome team and having my bond with my guys, which I'm glad I started doing the, uh, the, the Pokemon and me shit. Yeah. Because that's great. It's actually, once you once you get them to their max affection, like, they don't really lower, and so it's really right. easy to, to keep it up. And that fucking saves your ass constantly. Like, your yeah. Pokemon almost, like, can't be one-shot anymore. And, like, they'll, they'll just dodge moves, and then it'll say, like, oh, it dodged it because it heard your shout. And it's like, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. And so much of the game is kind of hard, and I almost feel like it's hard because they, they had that mechanic in mind that you could kind of, like, right. get around the difficulty. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 there's a lot about it that I that I would, like, like, like to replay and explore more. But, like, in when I think of it in retrospect, of, like, how I feel about it right now, and I think back to why, I just feel like so much more was memorable in why. Uh -huh. like, there were so many more, like, weird areas and, like, cool... Yeah. things but but then it could just be because i played that game for like a hundred hours trying to catch all the pokemon I like in that know? game like you could kind of find all kinds of pokemon in weird spots like there was a whole dragon area like in the middle of the game and that's the only game where you could get dragon pokemon in the middle of the fucking game because right. for some reason they always have to restrict them to the end like with this game where it's you don't get ice guys till the end even though no one in the pokemon league is weak to ice so what was the point of restricting ice to the the final level yeah. I don't know. You know, I think what I might do, because I, I don't feel, like, after having beaten Sun, and I don't really feel like catching all the Pokemon, but I also don't feel like I've gotten my Pokemon fix yet, so I might just go and play Omega Ruby, because I know yeah. you've been saying that's, like, your favorite one, is uh, the yeah, Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Sapphire. I don't um, know how, how the Ruby is, because uh, it'll be different. In what way? Well, the story's different, because it's the other team, and then, uh... Isn't it just basically the same thing, though? They just have different goals? Yeah, but I mean, the the characters are different, so I don't know. Because... I in, highly doubt it would be Sapphire, a worse game. Well, I don't think it'll be worse, it'll, but like in Alpha Sapphire, the Magma guys are good guys. And right. the, the, the other guys are, are the bad guys. And so it'll be, it'll be different character-wise. I, I don't think that'll change it significantly enough to be... A, yes. To, to have concerns over whether or not it'd be as good of a game. Um... <laughs> I just, I just liked the I never played Team it, so. Aqua as bad guys. 
I'm uh, you know, I'm thinking that might be a better way to get the rest of my Pokemon fix. That's because you know, I at this point, like with Pokemon Y, when I played that game, it was very much in a void. It yeah. was like I hadn't played Pokemon for a while, and I didn't play Pokemon for a while after it. Uh-huh. It was just like me and my girlfriend at the time got into it at the same time. We both wanted to catch all the Pokemon. I played a whole lot of it, and then it was kind of like, okay, you know, that's it. And then um, I didn't even play Omega Ruby at all. I bought it and played it for like 10 minutes, uh-huh. you know. But then now, like this year, I feel like I'm more into Pokemon in a bigger way because of all the Nuzlocke's and stuff. Yeah. Like, um, for those who don't I know... Wish, I wish I hadn't just played, like, every Pokemon game to a small extent before playing the new right. one. Because I'm, I'm so sick of all the old Pokemon. Yeah. Um, so, you know... My friend and YouTuber, uh, Monkey Jones, has his Nuzlocke series, which we're all huge fans of. It's a great show. And he did Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon um, uh, Crystal and Yellow. He played yeah. through all those, and they were all a lot of fun. And it got me, like, really back into, like, the idea of Pokemon as a game series. Because I was able to see so much of the depth in the combat that I've yeah. that to me has always just been kind of alien like, I've never explored the combat in much depth, uh. so seeing someone else do it was like, oh, this is what high-level play is like, you know? And then uh, my friend and roommate, Ben Saint, also started a Nuzlocke series inspired yeah. by Mumkey. Pokemon has been all the rage lately. Yeah. Well, Pokemon Go Nuzlocke. came out, and we've got friends doing yeah. Nuzlocke. I've been playing Pokemon cards with Hope, and she was super excited for the new game. Right. I started playing White, which I would love to get back to, and Ben really would like to do more of it with me. It's just that a... Uh, I was planning to like do a little bit more planning so that they so it wouldn't be quite as unbelievably long as it's gonna be. Yeah. Um, because I am not good at like what Ben and Mumkey do is they just kind of like comment on stuff every once in a while and they edit out like hours of footage. You know, oh. it's like he's you highly, are not a person who could do that. I can't just sit. Yeah, I don't ever like sit around in silence for a long time. Like I just kind of talk through the whole thing. So my my playthrough is like un fucking believably long because i'm like you know talking the whole way and it's gonna be a super long playthrough so i was planning to like figure out my course through the game better you know but um but taking the time to do that has been uh, not something i've done so uh but but like between all of that it's like pokemon's really been on my mind and it's 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 also kind of a thing where i realize um, especially after playing Sun, and it only took, like, 40 hours, which isn't too bad, yeah. you know, for, for the amount of stuff I did in it. Um, I still, you know, I've played through the first games a bunch. I've played through Gold and Silver a bunch. But I never actually played through Gen 3. I've never even touched Gen 4. Yeah. Never finished Gen 5. Uh, so I kind of want to do all those, you know? Like, go play every Pokemon game and have more to say it's about fun. it as, like, an evolving yeah. franchise and stuff. <laughs> It's, it's um, cool to see how they've, they've how far they've come. I think I just had it in my head that there were so many fucking mechanics in these games that I never learned them all. But uh-huh. now that I have a pretty good grasp on them all, it's not nearly as overwhelming, yeah. you know? Like, the only thing I still don't really get is, like, IVs and EVs, you know? Yeah. And you never... you It never matters, you know? No. Well, like, it, those it, don't matter It can matter to, to a Nuzlocke, you know? Or I to guess like, it can matter to a Nuzlocke or, to competitive, or play. to competitive play, but, like, eh, it doesn't really fucking matter. Right. Like, I didn't check it till the end of my game, and I think my guys had, like... Some of them, I think, had the, the low IVs or low base stat, whatever the fuck, but they were all super strong anyways, so right. who cares? There's a lot of stuff in the new game for... for like, apparently, if you do those... those Shit. Those, like, uh, things where you have Pokemon keep summoning new Pokemon. Yeah. Like, eventually the ones that'll show up will have better IVs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they will. So, you know, there's mechanics that for that. I that stuff, yeah. But... I do... I love that they, they progressively take that shit more into mind right. with the games. Like, they, they, they saw that people like that aspect of Pokemon and they encourage it as opposed to, like, ignoring it. Like, with the... The Smash community is always mad Regressive because... because yeah, they... Yeah, because they... they, they Go with certain things, but then they ignore what the what the hardcore community really cares about, which is like the speed and the in the trickery of it. So it's like I I'm glad with Pokemon they go in depth with it and they they like that the community 
understands and responds to it. Right. But there is there is a lot of stuff though that gets removed that people love that like uh, in the next game isn't there and stuff, you know. I'm surprised they didn't do new mega evolutions and stuff. Like those were always fun. Right. I never even, in all of X and Y, I never once did a Mega Evolution. Because the process... <laughs> it it's pointless. I just like that, like, they're there because they're right. cool. Well, it was like, they had this whole thing where you have to... Because to do a Mega Evolution is a pain in the ass. You have yeah. to, like, find the stone that works with that particular Pokemon. Uh, and then, like, you know, only when the fucking planets align and, and stuff can you use it. And it I mean, it's another like, one of those things that's, that seems like it's more for competitive uh, play. Sure. And then the same thing, like, with this game, they have the Z-moves, which are a lot more easy to do and, like, prominent, yeah. but I would still, I never did it. Never once. I did once. It all the time just because they're cool. <laughs> I, I just didn't bother, like, no, giving a thing to a time, Pokemon. But... Um, I just hate micromanaging my team, because I switch people out so much that it's like, I don't want to, you know, give a special item to this guy and then realize that, oh, now I gotta switch it out to this other guy, because I took that guy off my team, and... Yeah. Got to optimize my battle. At least with Sun and Moon, when you take guys out, it asks if you want to take the item off. Yeah. And so you don't waste it. Oh, shit. Anyway, oh, that's fuck, it for this fuck, episode. Fuck. Hopefully we'll talk less about Pokemon on the next one. Woo! <laughs>